Army scientists have developed a combination suppressor and muzzle brake that keeps machine guns on target and quieter on the battlefield, a boon for the tactical level soldier's accuracy and movement. It's a hybrid device that cuts half the volume at the shooter's ear, reduces recoil by a third and drops volume downrange by one quarter, said Gregory O'Berlin, a small arms engineer at the Army's Combat Capabilities Development Center Army Research Lab. The piece of gear has been coined this muzzle and can trace some of its legacy to a muzzle brake design for the 155mm howitzer. A muzzle brake helps keep down muzzle climb that results from a weapon firing and gas pressure forcing the muzzle upward. How a solution for maintaining good aim on both a massive cannon and a handheld medium machine gun comes down to some simple aspects of physics and engineering, the developers told Army Times. Jumping between calibers is nothing, said Daniel Kler, an engineer with the Army's Armaments Center at the Combat Capabilities Development Center. We do it all the time. A lot of times we develop large caliber muzzle devices. The principles are pretty much identical. Along the more than dozen years of development and patent work the three engineers worked through phases of design, tinkering with various aspects of the device. They were working in calibers not yet selected as well, which put them in a good position when the Army determined it would pursue the 6.8mm round for its next generation squad weapon. Past programs working with future small arms concepts involved advanced kinetics and laid the groundwork for high performance systems that eventually fit with the upcoming NGSW, Oberlin said. The result is a muzzle that fits onto NGSW prototypes and only adds 3 inches to its overall length on a weapon expected to sustain a 600 rounds per minute firing cycle. The weight of the device is a half pound for the NGSW, somewhat heavier for other weapons. The Army has obtained the patent. Should it decide to move forward and field the weapon it would be manufactured by private industry, common defense department practice. This muzzle could also be used for a commercial product such as personal defense, shooting and hunting. But what started as a way to keep big barrels on target evolved into devices to make smaller guns quieter.